So I'm done with my shift. Hi, good morning. Today's day 43 of the 90 day journey that we are on. And if you just joined me, I am on a 90 day journey or self-improvement to be better, do better, be better than yesterday. My name is Daphne Eugene. I am currently living in Vienna, Austria, and I am just creating this life that I want to continue liking, continue to be happy. Uh, healing in the process obviously and discovering new things discovering this new version of myself Every intention to make me a banana sea moss smoothie. But of course, I go to take my oat milk and it was laying on its side. Let's go pick it up. But the container was extended, which means the air has entered, which means that it has spoiled. In case you don't know, that's what that means. If any container that you have has expanded beyond its normal, this is what it looks like normally and then if it's expanded it means that some sort of gas or carbon like so whatever's inside it has created this thing which means that it is spoiled which means that we're not drinking this which means that i'm not making a smoothie so by the way hi good morning today's day 43 of the 90 day journey that we are on and if you just joined me i am on a 90 day journey for self-improvement to be better do better be better than yesterday. My name is Daphne Eugene. I am currently living in Vienna, Austria, and 
I am just creating this life that I want to continue liking, continue to be happy, um, healing in the process, obviously, and discovering new things, discovering this new version of myself. <sighs> so, let's pour you out because we are not drinking you at all. clear vision of this. And of course I smelled it. It was not the best smell taste or whatever. So no smoothie for me. So I decided to do, I'm gonna try to do some work. It's currently about to be 10 o'clock and eight minutes and I go to work in two hours. So I have about 30 minutes to put out a video on YouTube. And today's May 1st, which is also a bank holiday here in Austria, um, or Vienna at least. And that's the thing with here, like, it's one thing to be a country, but they have different states and every state has their own holiday, every state has their own, this jurisdiction, every state, yada, yada, yada. Which is the same as, obviously the states. United States of America every state within that has their own thing um, May 1st is their Labor Day which means that shops are closed so I'm definitely not getting oat milk today but alas whatever uh, let's try to get this work done because yeah Okay, what's up? So I decided to just wear the clothes that I'm gonna wear to the gym, to work, so that I already have it on. And of course, representing Haiti. I don't know why I said that like that. Anyways, today is May 1st, and today is um, the first day of Haitian Heritage Month. Uh, May 18th is Haitian Flag Day, and all May we just celebrate being Haitian. And as much as a lot of struggle is going on in the country today, um, I believe that we are still a prideful people. I am very proud to be Haitian. And, you know, the culture that my parents have brought over to me, that we've moved to America. Well, they moved to America. I'm currently not in America. But I still represent. I still love our food. I still love our culture. You know what I'm saying? Just like any other. Like, the distress... It's happening, it is, but I think, and I know, and I believe that we have so much things to be proud of, and I um, hope to be able to share with you guys, from my perspective, what being Haitian is about. So, yeah, um, this is what the shirt looks like. I have it in white, black, and red, um, and I'll try to leave the link below of where I got it from. It's from one of my um, friend's sister. She has an Etsy shop, and she has amazing items, amazing, amazing products. And I've always, I always try to promote her and her and her and her brand and her, you know what she does. So, uh, but yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. Got my headphones, got my glasses. I bought a backpack for God knows what, but yeah. Okay, I'll see y'all outside. So I'm getting more and more comfortable uh, with my camera and carrying it around and vlogging um, because at this point, so what, right? So, um, I do not recommend trying to vlog and walk down the stairs. Pay attention. So, I'll see y'all outside.
this is what happens when you don't know what's going on and there's a parade or something because it's their Labor Day and you have to get to work so now you have to go down and grab the train. Seriously. Uh, like, bruh. Good to know they close at 10 on holidays. Now I know because I didn't know, I thought they were just open to regular hours. But yeah, gotta watch out for bikes. They do. Okay, he did. <laughs> Stretching. Uh, now I'm gonna probably do some uh, computer work. I'm gonna try to put up some social media content on Instagram and everywhere else. Um, and then I'm gonna wind down, shower, drink some wine, go to sleep. Be ready for the next day. Um, but I'm really kind of like sad about. I got some type of way about me not going to the gym today because I was really ready to go to the gym. And what I figured out too, because it's a holiday, because so now I know. Um, so the holiday takes on the same hours as the um, weekend, which is from 8 to 10. Normally they're open between 6 and 11 on regular weekdays. And so I'm assuming, well, obviously, uh, Fire tag is what they call it, holidays, bank holidays. Um, they're open between 8 and 10. And so I literally got there, I think, at like 9.45. I was about to like check in with my car. And homegirls, it's like, oh, we're about to close. Or she's like, oh, we're closed. We're going to close in 15 minutes. I was like, oh. I was like, because of the holidays? She's like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. So, um, yeah. I was like, all right. So, but now I know, at least I didn't wake up at 6 a.m. and was disappointed. So I'd rather have a, because I'm already out. I was already coming from work. And so I was just like, all right, cool. Um, but to be honest as well, I feel like even if I would have left exactly at 8.30, I would have got there maybe for literally probably like a 20 to 30 minute run on the treadmill. So it's all good. But um, I got home and did a bit of stretching. Not so much, not so long, but it felt so good to just stretch. Um, and I was thinking of maybe just putting on like a Nike program and do like a probably like a 20 10 to 20 minute session of stretching. And so, which I mean, I still might do that, but I don't know. Um, cause I just did toe touches and like kind of like 
you know, wherever I felt comfortable stretching. Um, or I can always obviously look up a YouTube stretch video as well. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna wind down. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I actually enjoyed recording, you know, my day. I think this was one of the first like inclusive full days um, that I recorded and um, I can't wait to edit it and kind of see how that goes and stuff. But to all my new followers, what is up? My name is Daphne and I'm currently on a 90 day self-improvement journey and I just want to be a better version of myself. There is no particulars just yet. Um, I feel like there is and there isn't, but I haven't, um, I tried to do like a habit tracker and <laughs> that didn't work out. Like my life is just, it, there is no, I, it's hard to create a routine and I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, my routine is based week by week. And I try my best and I feel like this week was probably like, this week is, is an ideal week just because I go to work at 12 o'clock. So I have from six to about 11, it's like a five hour like window that I can literally work for me and do what I want to do. Um, but yeah, so, and happy Haitian Heritage Month to all my Haitians who are following and tuning in. Um, I see you. But yeah, I hope everyone has a great night and a great day at whatever time you're watching this. So don't forget to leave a comment, say hello, don't be shy. All right, right back. But also thank you again. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See y'all next time.